now that you have brackets installed and you know about file management, let's begin working on an actual web project. It is possible just to open up a brackets and start creating files and just working, but what I actually highly recommend is that you set up your project folder before you just start making HTML and CSS files. By setting up a folder first, it's going to make it so much easier when you start to add images and add links and things like that because Brackets is going to know where you're working from. So that is always the first thing that I'll do. And you can see that on my desktop, I have a folder called Web Projects. This is going to be where I'm going to keep all of my projects for this particular course. Now if I open up this particular folder, you're going to see that as of yet, nothing exists inside of this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create some subfolders so that I can stay organized. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll create a new folder right here. And I'll go ahead and name this Lesson 04 since this is the fourth section of our course. Inside this folder, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create all of the necessary items that I'll need to be working on. Because I am going to be working on a couple of different projects for this particular section of the course, I'm gonna create some subfolders. And so for this one, we'll go ahead and we'll make a new folder. I'm just gonna call this 04-04 since this is the fourth series for this particular lesson. But you can name these folders anything you want. It could basically be your client folder, or you could name it the name of a lesson or something like that. You just want to make sure that when you're naming anything for the web, you're following the suggestions that I offered in the earlier video on naming files for the web. So we can think of this as our project folder that we're working on or our client folder. I'm going to go inside of this folder and now I'll set up my root folder for this particular project. So I always like to call my root folders root and then I'll go inside the root folder and we're just going to make all of the subfolders that we need. So for any web project, you're going to probably have images. So we'll make an images folder. You're going to need to make a pages folder because normally you're going to have more than one page. And it's really important just to keep things organized. I'm a big fan of always being consistent so that it's really easy for you to get up and running. The final folder that I'm gonna need for just any sort of basic web project is gonna be a CSS folder. And this is where I'm gonna keep all of my CSS styles. Eventually, you might have other subfolders such as a JavaScript folder, but for right now, we're just gonna be focusing on working with HTML. So we're just gonna make the basic folder structure. And now that I have this all set up, I'm ready to start working in brackets. I'm gonna just drill back so that we're looking at the root folder and we'll just place this over here to the right of the brackets window so that we can see this. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can actually open the folder inside of brackets. One of the ways is to go to brackets and go to file and just say open folder. And this will allow you to navigate to anywhere on your computer. So you'll be able to go ahead and drill into the folder and find whatever it is that you need to find. This method works fine and you can certainly do this, but I find it easier just to open the folder in brackets by simply grabbing the folder and dragging it to this left hand pane. And you can see when I get to the left hand pane, there's a little green circle with a plus sign, which indicates that I'm adding this to brackets. So as soon as I let go, all of the other files that were open disappear. And now you can see that I'm looking at my root folder. And if I hover over this, it shows me the path to this particular folder. And then we have the subfolders that we've made. I do want to mention that it is possible to make subfolders right here in this pane as well. So if I wanted to make something, I could simply right click or control click and I have access to this contextual menu, which would allow me to make a folder or even a file. So if you do forget a specific folder, no worries. You can always update it 
right here inside of this left hand pane. We don't need any additional folders, so I'm just gonna click away from that. But what we do need to get started working on is some sort of file. So again, you could control or right click and select new file. An alternate method to create a new file is to say file new, and this is gonna make a new file. Now, as you can see, this is simply an untitled file. And if we look at the little icon right here, it just looks like a document. At this point, Brackets doesn't know what kind of file that we're working on. So it's really important that when you actually start writing and working on the document, you're gonna to wanna to save the file and add the appropriate extension. The reason that we wanna do this is because Brackets will then know what type of file that we're working on and it will provide some help to us. It's gonna provide some code hinting and just allow us to be more streamlined with coding. So before we actually save this, if I just click in this area and I start to type an HTML tag, you can see that I am able to type it. So right now I've placed a paragraph tag or an opening paragraph tag on my page. And if I wanna close the paragraph tag, I would simply make the angle brackets, the forward slash, and I would close the paragraph tag. And then you know I could add any sort of text that I want. At this point, this is just a text document. It's not an HTML document. So in order to make this work correctly, as I mentioned, we're gonna need to save it. So what I'll do is I'll just get rid of this text for right now, and I'm just gonna simply say file save, or you could use the keyboard shortcut of command or control S. And one of the cool things about opening the root folder is that Brackets already knows exactly where we are. So if we look right here, you can see that Brackets is saving this file, whatever it is that I name it, inside of my root folder. And here's all my subfolders. This is really helpful because Brackets just knows that, hey, this is my project, here's the root folder, and it automatically assumes that whatever file you're saving, it needs to be placed within the root folder. And of course you could place it in one of the subfolders if you needed to do that. But because I'm starting my web page, I need to place the file in the root folder and the home page or the first page of your website always needs to be named index. And of course we need to add that extension. Remember when we're naming files for the web, no spaces, no funky characters. So you'll have to use other solutions if you want more than one word. But the home page is always referred to as index.html. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it this, and then we'll simply click save. And as soon as I do that, you can see that my file shows up in this left-hand pane. If I open the root folder, there's now a file called index.html and the little icon for this particular file has now changed to indicate that this is an HTML file. Now, if we go ahead and we try to type a paragraph tag, you can see that the first thing that happens as soon as I click and start to type is I get this little contextual menu. And this is going to show a list of a bunch of HTML tags. So you could certainly come down and find the appropriate tag. If I click P, it'll take me to the P section and I can simply click on the paragraph tag. That is helpful if you're just trying to figure out you know, what the tag might be. You're still gonna need to complete the tag and as soon as I put the closing angle bracket, brackets went ahead and finished the HTML element for me and made my closing tag. So this is really helpful because it will help you to code like I mentioned. So once again, if I came down here and I wanted to make a h1 tag, I would open the angle bracket, type h1. As soon as I make the closing bracket, you can see that it makes the closing tag and my blinking insertion point is blinking inside and I can add my text. So it's really easy just to get up and running. The other thing that happens is the HTML elements are color coded. So you'll see that the text is appearing white and the HTML tags are appearing in blue. The color of these tags is gonna be affected by the theme. We talked about themes a little bit earlier, so depending on your theme, the colors that you see might be a little bit different. 
and that is something that you can control, but it obviously makes it much easier for you to see the actual HTML elements and if we needed to add any sort of attributes and values and all that kind of stuff, they would also show up with the appropriate color coding. Now, if you were simply using a text editor, you would not get these sorts of benefits. And they might seem like just little things, but these little nuances definitely add up and they will save you a ton of time. So I highly recommend using some sort of code editor. I really like brackets. It's very simple and it has all of the things that you're gonna need. And then of course you can extend it by adding those additional extensions. Now I'm gonna delete this information because when we build web pages, we actually need some other information. We can't actually just start making paragraphs and headings and things like that. We had learned that we could do that when we use something like CodePen, but because we're now making a local project, we actually need some other code. So I'll show you what that is shortly, but for now, I just wanted to show you how you could get a project up and running, the importance of using extensions on your file names, and just making sure that your root folder is set up correctly. If you do this, you're gonna set yourself up for success and the whole process of building websites is gonna be much easier. So now that we have this ready to go, we can start coding away.